it never fails when you hit record the landscapers come outside hey guys omar here and there's probably a lot of people getting their new fuji cameras with this whole holiday season coming along so I know that uh, a lot of you have been thanking me for the old tutorials I did in 2017. I'm gonna start doing more tutorials, maybe to like freshen them up a bit. And so that's what this video is about. Maybe someone doesn't really know how to best focus with their camera. All right, let's go. Uh, yes, this fell off again. Okay, if your camera has touch, one of the quickest ways to focus is using the touch screen. You could choose your area and then focus using the focus button. Choose your area, half hold. Choose your area, half hold. You can switch to continuous focus by moving the switch. And now if you touch on the kid or object or pet that's gonna move, if they move towards the camera or around, it will track them. Now this only works if they stay in the box. If they are out of this little box, then you will start to lose focus. You also, instead of using this tiny thingamabub, you can change to a zone and you can make your zone larger or smaller. And this now will track a section of your subjects. Just know your subject has to be in that grid. If they're not in that grid, they will not be picked up. So once they're in that grid, you can get start getting focused. So you're gonna have to make sure they're in the grid. You know what, let me fix this. Oh, that's nice. If your camera has a little joystick, you can move the focus point where you need it, half hold, done. Move the focus point where you need it, half hold, done. You can have pre-AF set to on, which will drain your battery continuously because what it's doing is the camera is always kind of working to help you out. So you just leave it and it will slowly focus without you noticing. Ooh, that was faster. I'm not touching any buttons. So it's constantly trying to get ready to focus. And then you can confirm by half holding. Okay. Ooh, we got the little leaf. We're gonna turn that off. You could work with less focus points if you want. And that, those of you with a joystick can move around a little quicker now. You could turn on your AF illuminator, which will annoy everyone. <laughs> Setting it to manual focus will let you obviously use your lens, but you also can, by pushing the center wheel, have two zoom in areas that will help you. This is best if you're focusing things on flowers or stationary objects when you wanna take your time and really check focus. If you hold down that wheel, you'll also get some options for some help. For example, focus peaking lets you see a cool preview of what's focused, so you can turn that on. Whoa, electrified cap. Z -z -z -z. You can also have autofocus and manual focus work together. So just put on AMMF and focus check on. If you have both of those on, then what's really cool is you can be in single focus. So I'm gonna put it on the S. And what you wanna do is, let's focus on something here in the back. Eh, we'll focus on Spidey. By the way, a lot of people ask me where I get my statues. I don't recommend getting into that habit but because it gets expensive. But uh, Sideshow Collectibles, if you go to Sideshow Collectibles, not sponsored by, they've got all expensive, expensive characters. Now, um, single focus, uh, what, I, what you can do is if you hold your shutter down, half hold, and actually turn your manual focus wheel, you'll get a little assist there and you can actually move your focus point to where you want, half hold, and then turn your manual focus wheel, and you can even hold, turn, and zoom using all those three. So half hold, turn, zoom, and you can get a good preview there using those. This is cool because it lets you get a little bit more fine-tuned focus so you can quickly auto-focus on something, half hold, it's focused, but if you want to just double check to see where focus actually is, it's really useful. Then you let go of everything. By the way, if you have focus check off, then you can half hold and use your manual focus. I'm turning it now, but you won't get that cool zoom feature. One other way to focus is to follow this little distance meter. So you know if you're mountain, if you're basically here on the five for manual focus, 
you know that stuff that's further away isn't really going to be in focus so great. So you can kind of make sure that you have your set to infinity or you're set to a bunch of, you know, 15 meters, 30 meters, and that will give you a little bit of guide. But really just use the EVF, man. Use your eyes. Now I haven't tested the Fuji X-T3's face detection for fast continuous. I'll get to that. Face detection is wonderful, fantastic. If people are stationary and you're about to take their photograph, it will find their face. It will even find their eye. So I recommend face and eye detection if you are, your subjects are stationary. If they're moving towards you and you have something that's a little bit more complex, instead I would move to a zone focus and change it to continuous, just like this. Whoa, change to continuous. Uh, do a zone focus and maybe increase the size of your focus there. And I think that'll be better if someone's kind of like running at you or doing something. It's a little better. If your subject happens to be with a very white background or a blue background, you can set a wide tracking and the camera will pick up anything that enters the scene. So let's try that. <laughs> If you're maybe shooting a soccer game or something, you can set to continuous focus, but also tell it, you know what, custom function number two with the cheetah will ignore any other players in the soccer game that happen to get in the way. We're going to make sure face detection is off and that we are in a zone focus for our soccer player. And here's this soccer player and here's our kid. The only thing with tracking your kid is you need to move your camera. The camera uh, focus point will not follow your kid. So you actually need to move the camera, which is really hard for me to do, but let me demonstrate. So, hey, he's running over here. Hey, hey, he's running over here. Hey, he's running slow over here. So you have to move the camera and keep it on the kid while you're shooting, okay? All right, people, so stay focused. Stay focused. If I left any out or if you can think of any more to share below for others, it always helps newcomers to the Fujifilm system. And I uh, hope that helped you a little bit. All right, I'll see you guys next time.